the Verdi Vis DSBs though, that, that this reminds me, the Verdi Vis DSBs, those are rumored to come out in fall. So probably in the, within the next couple. Hey man, say man, it's Armand Too Real in the cut on the mic as you can see and today I'm going to be talking about some upcoming sneaker releases because like the sneaker game has been pretty boring lately. Right now we are in June or in July actually, I'm tripping. We're in July right now and it's been pretty boring so I'm just going to get straight into this video so drop a like, drop a sub, all that good stuff and pretty much I'm just going to be like explaining, we're talking about some upcoming sneakers that um, could be potential bangers so um, yeah. Like I said, drop a like, drop a sub. But the first two I want to talk about is the Black Cement Threes, which come out pretty soon. This is probably like a more of a soon release that comes out. It's um, they come out in like November 23rd. I'm pretty sure that's the exact day. I'm gonna pop it on the screen. The Black Cement Threes are probably the release date too. Um, but yeah, this pair like is really nice. Like the OGs came out in um, let me see when the OGs came out. I think they came out like 2015. Okay, no, they came out 2018. The the other like the previous release. So they did come out like about six years ago so pretty like about almost a decade ago so yeah i don't know if these are gonna be i'm pretty sure these are gonna be like a remastered version so it's not gonna be like a reimagined like the breads but um i'm pretty curious to see how they are, these are gonna perform like on the aftermarket like i don't think they're i think it's you never know like i really don't know until like we hear stock numbers of, is there gonna be a million pairs like the military blues or is there gonna be like 300k pairs like the bread reimagines because if there's only like 300k pairs which i doubt I bet they'll make a lot of this because they know that people like the blacksmith three so i bet you they're gonna make these i heard that they're gonna make these like a super gr means like they're gonna be everywhere kind of like the military blues so in the in the bread reimagines were everywhere too but the bread reimagines they made like less pairs than the military blues so they were a lot like harder to get than the military blues but um yeah so you just never know how they're gonna do in the aftermarket for like people who are interested in like flipping their kicks like we're gonna have to see like we're gonna have to hear like stock numbers and stuff until then it's like really just like you, you just don't know like you, you can't predict it it is a really nice pair though so it's gonna have a heavy demand behind it but if there's a bunch of pairs it's gonna hurt obviously the resale price afterwards so um yeah right now like if you want to thrive and flipping kicks you just gotta flip them early like the military blues they were flipping for like 350 so people that hit on the shock drop and like was able to get early pairs from someone for a solid price you were there was still money to be made for sure like i remember i sold my early pair of military blues for like 300 like 320 like before they came out like on the like because i hit on the shock drop so i sold my shock drop pair for like three something on alias and like payout was like 280 and i didn't get the pair in time so i wasn't able to sell it so like it, it got canceled so we looking back at it that was a solid sale compared to what military blues go for now like i made a video talking about like 10 pairs that are under retail right now and that was definitely in there that's one of the pairs that's under retail because the military blues are doing terrible in the aftermarket but um anyways next pair i want to talk about this is actually more of a soon release this comes out in august which is like pretty soon that's my birthday month so i definitely am looking forward to this pair it's the alma threes i'll pop them on the screen it's a woman's pair but these are actually pretty nice it's like a darker version they had they made a lighter version before um the, of the alma threes i think like not too long ago well let me look up when those came out okay so the white version i'm gonna pop that on the screen these came out in 2021 and these are flipping for a good little price right now like these are going for around like 300 really like the lowest 200 to like 450 bucks so like they are going for a solid pretty penny right now the white version and the the darker version that's coming out looks like pretty nicer than the white version so we's gonna have to see if these are gonna be flipping or if they're gonna be near retail, which usually all all on the near like shoes usually go for a good price. Like they usually go for a pretty penny on the resale market. Like look at the Alma fives, the black ones especially. Those like those still flip for a good like solid price. Like in my size, like a 12, like if you wear like a bigger size, you're gonna have to pay up for that pair. It's, it's going for like four to five hundred bucks right now. But um the next shoe I want to talk about, well, that was like the Alma threes, those come out like August 21st. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna pop up the official release date right here. But um, yeah, those are pretty nice. So I'm looking forward to those. Those come out, like I said, in my birthday month, August. So definitely looking forward to those. But July right now, dude, it's really quiet for sneakers. Like we had, like, you know, the year started out strong with the Futuras, with the Military Blues. There has not been many heater SBs this year. Like this is a super weak SB year. The Verdi Vis DSBs though, that, that, this reminds me, the Verdi Vis DSBs, those are rumored to come out in fall so probably in the, within the next couple months they were supposed to come out like literally like in the end of june or something like that but they ended up getting pushed back so hopefully we see those come out soon they're flipping for crazy numbers right now let me see how much they're going for right now 
the Verde Vistis. Okay, right now the Verde Vistis are still like flipping for crazy numbers, about $1,000. So if you have a pair of early of these, don't think this is a pair to hold, flip that pair because whenever these come out, I don't see these being a $1,000 shoe. I see these being around um to realistically like 260 because like you know let's be real um retail's 135 so people aren't you know people a lot of people get pairs and they're, they're not too crazy to try selling for the high they'll just flip them for like you know they're fine with taking their 70 dollars profit let's say for 200 bucks so i see this pair being around 260 let's say 250 to like bigger sizes 400 bucks so that's where i realistically see the birdie vistas being out like it's not a crazy pair like the person behind it it's like a guy that's like a it's kind of like a Nego type guy, like, you know, like a, you know, he, he like, he has a heavy influence in like streetwear and stuff. So that, that's like where the collab is with, I'm pretty sure. Like that's who Verdi is. But, um, yeah, it's kind of like a Grateful Dead looking dunk. So like it is probably, it is flipping. It's going to be flipping for some crazy, you know, prices like it is right now. But I do see these dropping heavily. So if you do have a pair of these, however you got it, I would flip it right now. But, um, yeah, the next pair I want to talk about is going to be, the rumored SB4s. Now these come out like 2025, so we still have a fat minute from now, but you know, 2024 is already like midway through 2024. So like, like we're already midway to, like through 2024. So like, you know, 2025 is kind of like appropriate to talk about now. Like the year's going by so quick. So like 2025, apparently some SB4s are supposed to come back out. Like, you know, I guess Nike saw, I made a video talking about this. So you go check out that video. It's kind of like mainly talking about these two pairs. Um, the red pair, like it's gonna be a red SB4. I'm gonna pop them on the screen. And then a navy one is rumored to a navy sb4 i'm gonna pop them on the screen both of those are supposed to be coming out like early um like february january of 2025 so we're gonna see how those are gonna be flipping i'm sure they're gonna be flipping for some pretty numbers but you know like pretty penny numbers but like you just never know because nike might make like high stock of them because they saw how good the pine greens did and you know yeah that that's pretty much they saw how good the pine greens did and Nike's really been killing off like models like that's how they killed off the foams back in the day like they made so many foam colorways like foams used to flip for crazy numbers like that used to be like the heater item at like sneaker events and stuff like when you see like sneaker events used to be filled up with foams and stuff I remember but now like foams are completely dead and nobody pays like more than 150 bucks for them so it's like you know it's pretty crazy unless it's like a super rare foam like maybe a galaxy foam or like the weatherman foams but yeah, foams are just completely dead because they made so many colorways of them. And hopefully that's not what Nike's trying to do with the fours, with the, you know, that's what they did with the Jordan 1s, you know, like, I don't know. We're just going to see, but I'm sure fours will never really be dead because, like, they're just so nice and people just like them, like, you know, like, and SB4, like, that, you know, SB4 is going to be hard to, like, like be near retail. Like, I don't see them being, like, a military blue or something like that, but we're just going to have to see, like, stock numbers and stuff whenever those come out. But the next shoe I want to talk about is the Great Jordan 5s. I'm going to pop these on the screen. Now, these are really nice. Like, I've always liked these. Like, I like the name Grape, and I like the color on these. Like, they're, like, nice. But let me pop up a picture of them real quick. Okay, well, the, the Grapes last came out in, like, 2013, and that pair is going for a pretty penny. But I see that they dropped heavily in, uh, in price because apparently, I guess, like, with the rumored version of the white ones coming out, because they made a black grape, too, back in the day. But I'm pretty sure they're coming out with the white grapes now. Um, and like I'm pretty sure they're supposed to come out with these in 2025. Let me see like the official release date, if there is one. Okay, apparently the grape Jordan 5s, like the white ones, they're supposed to be like the rumored to come out like in spring, summer next year. So a fat minute from now. So that is like a farther release. But yeah, that isn't like another good release that you know that's a better Jordan 5. So we, that is something to look forward to. But another Jordan 5 that is rumored, but this is kind of like official, the meta Black Metallic 5s. Now, these are actually like one of my favorite Jordan 5s. Like, these are definitely nice. I'm not the biggest Jordan 5 guy, but like certain models, like the Grapes, the Black Metallics, those two are really nice. Like, I would definitely wear those. But the Black Metallic 5s are like rumored to come out. Let me see when these are rumored to come out. Okay, they're rumored to come out February 2025. Now, this pair is actually really clean. Um, again, like, there's obviously, for people who are into flipping kicks, like, they're still like, you know, there's still money to be made on all these drops, but you just have to like, it's all about nowadays is flipping it early. Like if you get the shoe early, flip it as early as you can while it's hot, because like, that's really like, that's how you're gonna make your money because you see what Nike's doing. They're making high stocks. So once they hit like, you know, the foot lockers on release day and stuff, like prices are going down. People are just, you know, undercutting each other, stuff like that. Like a lot of, a lot of craps going on because you know like i love stock x but it's, you know love hate for stock x for like you know because it kind of hurt the sneaker game a lot because a lot of 
um, I don't, I don't want to use this word, but you know, jits, you know, like a lot of jits like got on the app, like people, people who are like, you know, really young could just sell shoes and like, they don't really know what they're doing and they're undercutting and stuff like that. And even older people are doing that. Like, you know, just a lot of bull crap's going on, but who really cares about all that nonsense? Um, pretty much if you know, you know, you just gotta, whenever you get these pairs, if you get them early, flip them early. That's how you're gonna make your money on any of these pairs. But also they're really good personals. A lot of these are really good personals, like the black metallic fives, good personal, great Jordan fives, good personal, black cement threes, awesome personal, um, rumored SB fours, the red and the navy blue one. Those are going to be some great personals. All these pairs I'm talking about are heaters. Like I'm only making videos on heaters recently. I'm not trying to talk about all the mid stuff that's coming out i'm talking about the heat that's coming out so that's going to really conclude this video drop a like drop a sub all that good stuff drop a comment if you're excited for any of these drops drop a comment which one that you're looking forward to the most me personally i'm looking forward to black cement threes and i'm really looking forward to all of these black metallic fives i'm looking forward to all of them i'm like curious to see how are these gonna be flipping is nike gonna make like a million pairs of each or is it gonna be more limited and we're gonna see maybe some of them hit like 400 bucks on release day we're gonna see though kind of like how the bird reimagines was those surprised me like they made high stock of those but yet they were still flipping for 300 bucks and big sizes on release day so i mean 300 bucks is not bad you know retails 220 so i mean like hey that's not bad honestly because especially in 2024 so yeah drop a like drop a sub i'm gonna end the video off here peace